Gather around, island lovers. It's Demi and Jasmine with your fire pit chat, your daily dose of all things Love Island. This episode is brought to you by IQ Bar. Talking about all these islanders breaking up and hooking up really does work up an appetite. So when you're looking for a healthy little snack, we turn to IQ Bar. IQ Bar offers 100% plant-based recipes that are keto and clean label. They are super low carb with zero gluten, dairy, soy, or GMOs. Their recipes center on vegan, nutrient-dense ingredients so you never have to feel guilty. It doesn't stop there. They also have IQ mixes because unlike the Islanders, we are allowed more than two glasses glasses of wine a night and sometimes it catches up with you. So detox to retox in the healthy way with IQ hydration mixes. Go to www.eiqbar.com slash firepitchat and use promo code firepitchat15, so firepitchat15, for 15% off. And it's good stuff. Good snacking. Had one this morning. Oops. I really love those bars. Yeah, it's a good Dark little, chocolate's It's my a fave. good breakfast replacement. Yeah. Or like before my run, I don't eat anything. Yeah, that's And good. I'll have a half of a bar. That's good because it feels so weird to run with your belly just sloshing with like your eggs that you ate. <laughs> Ew. Do you know what I, I run with the, like a, like a waist trainer, like those, um, oh. the slim trainers because it really helps my back, dude. Oh yeah. And it actually makes running easier because you're like, shit's not hanging out. Yeah. And it is true when you're running, like your posture has to be good. Yeah. And like when I do run, sometimes it's like my upper back hurts. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Good call. Yes. Okay, everybody. Episode 39. We are continuing Movie Nights. Mm. Movie Night, the sequel, they said. I love their little um, intro where I it's know. like, Movie Night 2. <laughs> it's personal. Yeah, it was, it was like, so it good. Is. It was so good. And this one was really good. Really good. I have so many thoughts. My, my opinions be changing, everyone. Like, oh, my gosh. It's crazy. So Movie Night continues, and they choose Ronnie Darko and i'm so glad they did that but ron olivia got upset she's like oh and she's like well you said i couldn't get tom and he goes what but you couldn't facts or he goes isn't it true yeah he's like but you couldn't though couldn't you so true i loved that ron's was like pretty harmless it was was, it could have been way worse it could have been way worse yeah he was nagging the guys on a little bit so was casey a lot of guys were egging the other guys on in casa yeah and um but he was it was showed him with kai saying listen she's gonna recouple i'm gonna be honest with you she recoupled she can't i don't really trust her i think she does what she does to stay safe she couldn't get with tom she couldn't get with tom um where's the lies no it's so funny she's like really to stay safe it's like you've been pitching that whole argument to kai this entire time and now you're baffled that someone's thinking about you and what's so funny is that she doesn't even know the boys said the bottom three comment multiple times so ron saying that was really good insight because she keeps talking about kai being in the bottom three. Oh wait he did say that right and then it does her clip shows that her clip showed it after oh shit i didn't catch the fact that he said that you were in the bottom three. No, he didn't say that. He was telling Kai, like, she, she, I think, is doing, being with you to be safe. And oh. they didn't even know she said the bottom three comment. Oh. So it's like, that proves his point even further. So, so I'm not flopped on Ron. I don't love Ron now. But, like, I didn't think it would take Olivia to get me on Ron's side. So Olivia's the real, like, no, she's the real villain here. Like my tweet said, like, Olivia must be god awful if we're thinking Ron is over here like a prince. I mean, she was being so annoying this whole episode, even more annoying than last episode, which I didn't think was possible. And I'm going to just thank the producers right now for their live video. And we'll get to that in a moment. And yes. that's all I'm going to say is thank you. Yes. And then so the girls go again and they choose Shaq to the future. And it was like th- he got the oldest clip. Like, why couldn't we go back that far for all these other dudes like Ron? That was so dirty that they showed a video of him with zara right that was like before he told 
Tanya, he loved her. No, like, totally. That was a joke. That was a huge joke. That means he's an angel. That means it's he all sh- he could show. She should have literally went over and kissed his foot. No, after but that. of course, Tanya is over there like, perfect, something to use against Shaq. Literal, like, I can get out of this one. Literal ammo. She's loading her gun with that. Like, <laughs> yeah, oh is. my God. It, the producers just handed her something. I know. And what I love next is that the boys win, and Ron's like, no, we're going for live. Yeah. He's like, we're going for live. Like, fuck this bitch who keeps freaking talking shit, mm-hmm. making everything about her. She is working so hard to make this night about her. Just like everything is about her. Wow. She is insufferable. And I don't use that word lightly. Great insufferable. word. Insufferable. I am so done with her on my screen. And I know it's like really mean to say, but goodbye, Olivia. Goodbye. Be positive. Be nice. Be be she's not she's no. like tears everyone down in her path and that's why I, I she's so unlikable to me because she's never building anyone up i'm shocked the girls think she's her good friend like a lot of girls do though it's shocking to me i don't know i think they're maybe they're scared of her i don't know of course they're scared of her like she is literally like a dictator in there she yeah. turns everybody against her no one wants to get that done and so ron is now the person who's calling her out on this shit and live actually it's like i hope I hope tomorrow all the girls then kind of digest what happened with all the guys and they take into account what Olivia said because she kind of got off scotch free. Oh, yeah. And they, literally, Claudia's cuddling her as no, she's hold talking on. shit about Claudia. Like, the moment where I, I have to bring this up later, we I have actually to get can. to that point. We're getting so ahead of Liv her. Liv actually, she started talking shit about everyone, which she, that I knew that one conversation was going to be it. She Which it was enough herself. damage. She just hit three Dude. different couples like at one time. And I think it will come back around. Sammy looked like, damn, I can't believe she said that about me when she was talking Claudia about Sammy. Claudia got pissed and Claudia was holding her arm. And I think they kind of like moved. Yeah. You could see Claudia being like, bitch. Yeah. Like, I mean, she was being nasty about everyone. She's just a nasty little she is nasty dude <laughs> she's so nasty and so then yeah that would live actually was so good like and it made it so awkward because the girls are just like not there right now they're too mad at the guys yeah. but i think when they're like back into an alliance with their men yes that's when the shit's gonna go on because ron's already like poked the bear yeah and planting the seed totally and thank god for ron question mark stop no but like we needed that no 100 percent. like Everything he's speaking is so true. And he had nothing to lose. Like, Ron's the only one that really could tear Olivia down. You know what I mean? Because everyone already hates him in there. Well, Ron is, like, her best friend. Yeah, I know. But good on Ron for being, like, I'm going to apologize for Lana's sake. Like, he had the wherewithal to see, like, I'm putting Lana in an uncomfortable position. Like, say what you will. They ain't going to last. But at least he had her back in there. Exactly. tried to. Yeah. Well, he was like, I, I'm not apologizing about that. I'll apologize for the comment I made after the movie night. You know what I mean? Like, he wasn't apologizing for what the film showed. He shouldn't. He was apologizing for the, the Tom thing being like, is it true? Yeah, but it is true. Like, I really don't think, and I wrote this down somewhere because I was like, I just was having so many thoughts, but the the boy, the boys really couldn't breathe the wrong way without the girls literally jumping down their throats. It was kind of hard to oh, watch. The, the girls were way too much. Jesse really annoyed me that whole time. Jesse was way too much. She's she's honestly really going down on my list because she's it's too much. It's too extra. Like now it's like get over it or move on or drop it. Mm-hmm. It's it's done. But all the girls were. That's what Casey. All the guys were like. If we just said a comment like that. We would be getting reamed. And you know what? They're so right. Oh, what Jesse's Jesse's film. Yes. So Jesse's film was nothing bad. Her just being like, kind of like. No, she said, she said, Shh. do it now. We'll deal with it back at the villa. Do you think those boys didn't just do that? Right. But you're such a hypocrite. Right. So you want the girls to do that, but the guys can't do it. Exactly. Like that really annoyed me with Jesse. And Will being like, oh, it's so minor. It's okay. And then someone, which girl was it, was like, she didn't do anything. Sammy. And he's to like. To Casey. Oh, no, to Will. Sammy to Will. And he's like, oh, my God. I know. That's why I'm saying it's minor. Like the boys literally like they should have just like left because the girl, everything the guys yeah. did, they were going so hard on him. I was like, oh, my God, these girls are fired up up right now it was uncomfortable i get it you should be pissed but like to an extent like they're allowed like you all did things there's just like no girl that's kind of like the girl who's claudia's kind of 
at was at moments being like, no, the the guy she was That's defending the guys, yeah. And oh, because they were like, oh my god, Free Willy is next anyway, but they're like in the bed part that's naughty the hand movement oh, let's which, get to that yeah and then sammy and tanya were like it was like exactly what ron said they're like stop trying to make something into nothing you guys are trying to make this like you were it was so weird like they were like no he is touching it did you see his hands touch it right like, egging her on being like did you see that fucking shit like and everyone's like all the guys are like stop making something even ron like i fucked with the guy, I'm on the team's boys. It's hard for me to say that, but I, I am on the These boys' side These girls are very easy bit. to unlike, dude. But, like, it's so true because I think Claudia was telling Jesse after Will's clip, which Will's clip was bad. It was very framing. Hold but on. But the way they showed him being sorry in Casa. He's so fucking lucky they did that. I wrote that down. Like, not the producers actually adding that in because they knew. I think they. Yeah. I'm sorry, but. Y- they never do that. I think it almost would have been, like, too bad for Will's mental health. Like, I think they actually did it for Will's mental health because I think they see, like, genuine, like, we see him crying around the villa. It must be like that 24-7. Yeah. Like, so I think they had to genuinely, like, be like, listen, he did fuck up, but he, he's clearly sorry. Like, they I'm showed so multiple clips of him regretting it. Multiple. Like, yeah. no one gets that on movie night. No, that's historic. That's that's setting a precedent like that has i'm telling you yeah never happened i was shocked my jaw was to the ground i was like oh my god they're showing him show remorse they would never show that they usually pick things out of context and make it seem worse than it was they low-key played it down not played it down because that's basically what happened but so after all that the girls someone said to jesse like oh that it's fine that's what he told you was gonna happen they're like not the dick touch i'm like dick touch I've seen that. I've seen that. I don't even have emotions in it. I never got the vibe she was touching his dick. Maybe she was like touching his chest or like something under the. Yeah. I think he was just kind of like wiggling around because he was clearly uncomfortable. He's like, you're naughty. He's the nice guy. He's not going to be like, you're making me feel uncomfortable. Exactly. Leave me alone. Exactly. So I thought that was so. I thought that was so out of order. The That's way what the girls I'm saying. Were acting. Like, it was. It was really painful to watch these girls. Like it was. It was really painful to watch. That was crazy, and I. I don't know what mentally they're going through right now. Yeah. Because it just seems like there's no voice of reason mm-hmm. anywhere. And no one's like really calling the girls out because I feel like they're so used to just getting away with murder. Liv, Tanya, just getting away with murder and doing whatever the fuck they want. Mm-hmm. And then just like turning it back on these guys. I feel for the guys. The one that I loved was Casey. Hold on, we'll get to that. But basically, we get now next was Jesse and we already said it was she was very hypocritical on that and then it was Maxwell's turn and Maxwell had a clip that was two seconds long and by the way the nicest clip like (laughs) how anyone could get mad at that shocking to me but of course here's Olivia just can't help herself you told me we were exclusive like you told me we're exclusive and just like Of course, you're grasping for straws to make this your clip the worst because no, hold on. I actually can't like even I need to calm down who really doesn't know much about this show is like he's like, why is Olivia trying to make it all about her? I'm like, thank you. Someone who doesn't even know much about the show was picking up on that. Yeah. And let's 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 get down to brass tacks. Olivia and Maxwell have been together for four days and it's preposterous for olivia to think they should be exclusive right now which three days you spent pining over kai or whatever this whole weird literally shit was. up until movie night literally right. up until two seconds ago when it was convenient for you you were still pying over kai yeah i mean pining over kai and when you came back with maxwell at first it seemed you were like oh my god you seemed upset about kai mm-hmm. and maxwell in that conversation was like it would take a lot to pull me away from Olivia. Things are going really good. He couldn't have been nicer. All he was saying was that he wasn't going to marry her. Exactly. It was insane. The fact that she could even get mad about that was, it was literally, it's exhausting. It's insane. It's actually insanity. I, I'm so, I'm honestly, I feel like we should send Maxwell a carrier pigeon and just be like, get out now. Seriously. Because it's scary. We, 
again, we're being repetitive, but we have to get Olivia out of that villa. Mm-hmm. It would be so much better. It, was, it Honestly, it would be way more enjoyable to watch. It's, it, it's borderline, like, not enjoyable. Like, I know TV is good TV, but it's not enjoyable to me watching Liv. Like, it's actually, like, toxic. Yeah, not anymore. It's not. Yeah. It's not... People right now, they're, they're they're kind of showing their truer sides. Like, Sammy's getting a little feisty. I'll take that. Yeah. Tanya, <laughs> whatever the fuck she's doing, I'll take her over Olivia. But Olivia's just toxic energy. And it, it whenever she's on the screen, like, I will mute it or I will, like, go back to doing my makeup. Yeah, because at least Tanya and Sammy back the girls. It's like Olivia just doesn't have any allegiances. And that's hard to watch. Which is, like, just... kind of what Ron was fucking saying. Yeah, he wasn't wrong. Yeah, so basically, I guess we'll finish up movie night where they show Sammy's Private Ryan, which was not bad at all. Nothing. And then compared to Air Force Tom, and I guess I was saying Jesse's mad annoying. She's just like a girl on on revenge. Like, she's just out for blood. Mm -hmm. And Sammy's getting upset. They're all saying, like, dumb shit. They're all, like, hyping each other off. I was getting really annoying. Tom's clip was Tom's clip whatever the you cuddling know? in bed would hurt that me. was bad the cuddling in bed when i watched that i'm he like i kissed I'm, her like it was like a girlfriend totally and like the that is what would eat me alive and clark was like that's that's i was watching it with clark and he was like that's worse than the kiss on the terrace i'm like significant it doesn't compare like <sighs> that kiss on the cheek the is a knife cheeks. to the heart two cheeks and then wrapped all up and the leg over, over her. and like that's how like you cuddle when you really like someone. I think Tom's just an affectionate guy. Agreed. Agreed. Um, and I think he does that fast and he does that with everyone. But like you want to feel like you were the special girl that he cuddles. Like Tom? to know a guy cuddles you in bed like he did, did some other bitch. But you know what? I feel like Tom would be the worst guy to have like a one night stand with. Which is basically kind of like not what totally not what Lydia did, but because he's so affectionate, like it's probably like this guy really likes me. If I left Tom's house the morning of, I'd be like, guess I got myself a new boyfriend. <laughs> exactly. After a one night stand, he kissed me on two cheeks and then wrapped his leg about me. I, ra- Done. Around me. I'm like he's obsessed with me. I have a boyfriend, guys. Like I'd be like calling my mom. I'm like arrange the flowers. Call your mom. No, I wouldn't. I don't know. This is for a show. <laughs> I'd be calling my friends and I'd be like, should we play in The Bachelorette? Guys, I have a new boyfriend. He's six <laughs> foot five. <laughs> no, he would actually be the worst because t- that's that just feel like he, it's him. I've had totally. one night stands with guys like that where it's completely fucked your brain up. Like, it does, But they're just like that. It does mess with you. Totally. Like guys have, who have absolutely no intention on dating you, acting like they're dating you, are the biggest mind fucks. And that's Tom. <laughs> <laughs> but i will say i do think tom genuinely likes sammy 100 you could see he feels bad like he was so sad him having to go outside after movie night yeah oh yes and so okay all the girls go to the fire pit this is the moment i want to talk about and olivia center of attention goes i want to undress the elephant in the room i was like great she's gonna right dr- they're talking about the girls herself and she goes ron what ron said about me out of all the girls sitting at the fire pit the elephant in the room is one something that they, a guy said about you not will not tom not tanya not what you said mm-hmm. but what ron said about you is the elephant in the room that's bothering everybody yeah, the elephant in the room, which was a complete fact that your guy friend said about you. Not about anyone else's guy making out with other girls. Not, like, there's so many worse things that happen. I had the same thought when she said the elephant in the room. And I'm like, oh, we're getting we're getting." Something. I was like, bitch, you're the elephant. No, you're the, the elephant in the room is that you're fake and you're an actress. When her video got played, she actually said out loud, quote unquote i should be used to watching myself by now when Liv actually started to play she said out loud i should be used to watching myself by now and then started watching her clip shut up like that's an actress is an actress i'm sorry that's that's low that's low humming resentment that's gonna eat at those girls i can bet you money she's not giving like i can sue actress no she's giving because she's not entertaining right no she's like manipulating like her castmates it, castmates 
<laughs> so that was just so annoying that she like turned that whole fire pit into her her how thing. did the girls react like did you did, oh, did you their see like a little were... glitch for a second and all the girls like yeah. being like the fuck i i thought i saw that. i saw that 100 percent. i wrote that down like all the all the girls faces were like you're not gonna bring up your shit or you're really making this about you right yeah. now i think what the girls were thinking is are you making this about you when like we have actual problems? Right. Because it's they all so have th- turmoil in their relationships. And then Olivia's guy just said nothing but nice things about her. Exactly. And then Tom and Shaq head outside and Shaq has that breakdown, which like I really broke my heart. Her. Like this poor girl is like really running him through the mud. Yeah. And just like the way that she can turn anything back. It is grade a manipulation gaslighting. Like, People are like, she should have like a course on how to do that because this is actually like really, really profound. No, she needs a TED talk because it (sighs) is, it is deep, deep manipulation. I actually think the CIA should reach out to her for like torture protocols. Holy shit. Can you imagine? That's what's happening. Poor Shaq has been getting tortured for eight weeks or however long. And he's still in the wrong and- and it's like he's like working his way up to like being good enough for Tanya. Like it's insanity. I've never seen but anything she's like, like Shaq it. tonight. I didn't like what I saw. It's and like, she slept on the day beds. You're in the wrong. You're in the wrong. I can't believe you are turning this again on Shaq. It is actually insane. Insane. And then Will and Jesse have a debrief. Honestly, I can't hear about this anymore. I can't hear about Jesse. I'm really over her. Like she's really putting a bad taste in my mouth. She needs to get over it. Just like Will said, it's kind of up to you. You need to yeah. make your decision or move on. This is like the circle thing is like a really annoying. But my favorite moment, do you have anything to say about that? I was just going to say, I think that she heard Will's comment and I think it's like going to push her towards getting over it. Because yeah, it seemed like she it was, was like, sweet. I saw your genuine regret in there. And I think that's helping her move forward. Like, yeah. Thank God they showed that because or else they would be in trouble. <laughs> This is so funny, dude. Casey and Claudia. So Claudia's like, I just like want you to like apologize for saying that you never s- told a girl to sleep in your bed like you did. And he was like, but I didn't though. And she's like, I just watched. And he's like, I never said that. And she's like, Casey. Like, and she starts cracking up. She's like, but I just like watched you say it. Like, and it played like, on the screen. He's like, no, I never said that. Like, never said that. Can't deny it. And Claudia was like almost laughing at the end because she's like, dude, like, I saw you. We, we just saw it. Right. And he, I was just dying. I was dying laughter at that. Like, Casey, the way he gets out of everything. And he got out of it. You gonna call on me or what? Like by barely saying, did he even say anything? No, he just like was like, well, I felt bad saying yes and I felt bad saying no. Which it kind of, that was the vibe he was giving. Like she was like, so I'm gonna do, it's like what, she was like, should I kind of sleep in your bed? Like is your bed open? And he's like, oh, so I guess you're gonna sleep in my bed. Like what are you gonna say in that? Like ha ha ha. Yeah. You're gonna obligation invite them to your bed. Like that was a weird moment that girl put him in. Yeah. Also like he was so newly single, but- it's just funny, like, how dip- diplomatic Casey is. Like, he so should run for office. Never said that. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, like, denial, denial, denial. Never said that. <laughs> She's like, I just watched it. No, never said that. <laughs> no, I didn't, though. No, but you did, Casey. No? I don't know. It's so good. And then uh, Ron was speaking facts on Olivia. Um, basically to Lana, like, I think she's fake. Called her out about everything, which was so amazing to Lana. Like, Ron really was like, I'm not letting her talk to me the way she talks to other everybody else. Yes. Like, I think she's fake. I think la 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 la. And I was like, oh my god, like, thank you. And then Lana's just sitting there. Lana bugs me, dude. I don't know. I've I've chilled out on my hate for for them this episode because Lana really just fades in the background for me. I don't I don't love the sticking up for Olivia thing because Olivia wouldn't do it for you. Yeah. And Ron really didn't say anything wrong. And if you're going to back Ron through all the other shit he did, you might as well just back him through this. But, like, Lana's obviously not a good judge of character. Yeah, no, clearly. That's yeah. the problem here. Right. Ron and Olivia are her two favorite people in the villa. Exactly. And Tanya was her other. So, so. I just feel like she's, like, the puppy that everyone could just, like, She's like she's the chess gullible. piece that everyone can like move around when they need her to move, you know? Yeah. Very gullible. gullible. Yeah. No, she's the um, under horse. Is that the thing? No. Remember it was underdog, but Shut she thought up. it was un- under Shut horse. Up. You like almost made it sound like it was a word. <laughs> and then 
here's one other thing. Like, Sammy was getting upset in the dressing room. And she was just like, I can't believe he said that. You know what I mean? And as a friend, you're everyone's just like, I know. Like, blah, blah, blah. Olivia goes, shh. You can write poems all you want. But saying you care about someone and seeing that, no, I'm sorry. You smug bitch, dude. Smug bitch. Why don't you just kick her when she's down? Totally. And also, you can't write poems all... He didn't write you a poem, Olivia. This you is, know that what was I mean? all out of jealousy. jealousy. I'm done with her. I know uh, it's... Y- you can write poems all you want. No, he actually can't. He could barely string a sentence together. Yeah. So let's be proud of him for writing that poem for Sammy. He and that's genuinely so mean. likes that Sammy. That was so nice. And why, like, and why are you just, like, making it worse for Sammy? Like, why are you? And, like, why would you take already. something nice that he did and, like... Right, like why would you do that like that's not a friend that's why she's not a friend mm-hmm. i i truly if you're hearing me ian sterling like i cannot watch olivia again we have to remove her we have to and then uh tanya the next day sitting alone and Sh- Shaq comes over there and she's like i don't know what else i need to do like what else do i do and i'm like how about like one thing like how about an apology that's it How about a little grovel? How about make him his coffee in the morning? Like a little something. How about the fact that he's like, do you love me? Look me in my eyes. The fact that you have to ask me that is like you don't trust. She didn't answer. And she turned that whole, she turned it back on Shaq without answering that. Right. So if you can't in that moment, raise your sunglasses up and be like, yes, I love you. You do not love that man. So true. And I hope Shaq sees that. No, he he doesn't. doesn't. That was that was a crazy big tell. Like that was she just like you. If you had to say that, then you don't. Then I you don't trust me. And if you, I could just walk away now or whatever that comment was. Like, yeah, she's like you're pushing me away. And when I get pushed away, I leave. No, it was like I will watch you walk away. He said she said that in bed. She said like you like you don't you whatever you don't trust me. And if if this is gonna be something that pushes us away like i'll watch you walk away She's i'll watch essentially you leave saying forgive me now i'm not gonna apologize or just like goodbye one of the worst human beings honestly this whole cast like i gotta tell you this is like not my favorite season yeah it's not and thank god for casey imagine if casey never came it doesn't have that like fun light-hearted it's energy not because these girls go- the girls, like, they're they're too bad. I'm sorry. Like, if you're Love Island producers, you need to remove the rotten egg. Yeah. You need to. Like, this is not okay. This is, like, we're not even focusing on the, the – it's Love Island. We're supposed to be now getting in love with couples, mm-hmm. and this is not – I think they try to get rid of the bad egg with Zara, but got rid of the wrong bad egg. You know what I mean? I think Zara was, like, a I, right amount of spice. And I, I love think- the, the memes that are, like, Zara was ahead of her time. <laughs> totally. Like, love that like she really got wronged she so did. did spencer all from olivia mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and kai has held on kai's like watching the film like this and kai came out good and kai it was like kai was saying kai was right about a lot of things like in last night's episode when kai was like listen the girls are too fired up they're being hypocritical yeah Facts. yeah and it played out in movie night you know what i mean so kai's not in the wrong kai handled the olivia situation very well Totally. And I saw a meme that was like, yeah. those elementary kids. Yeah, he knows how to handle Olivia because he, uh, a- his work is to deal with immature girls because he's a science teacher. I'm like, Facts. true. He's like, no, I'm not. We're not doing this. No. And he shouldn't. Agreed. He handled it beautifully. And then two new bombshells walk in. So that's what we're going to have. And they're not bad looking. But what do you think is going to happen with the bombshells? Like, I can genuinely Maxwell's say I don't our only hope. think. Yeah, I don't think Could one boy's head Maxwell? would turn. Oh my god, it'd be but Olivia would literally like ensnare that girl in a trap. Could you imagine Maxwell? That would be such good television. I just don't think he will. I don't think any of the girls' heads will turn. It's usually a long shot for these bombshells, but we'll uh we'll see how they play out. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to watch tomorrow. I know. See what happened on a Friday. I always feel episode. bad for those for the bombshells right now. It's Me just too. So... It's like bottom of the barrel. And like it's really early like you're in the middle of all these fights like yeah but i will say in every episode in every season of love island it's like a couple that gets through the ta- the f- tests and that's who i root for and that is sammy and tom for me yeah and i don't see tom's head swiveling at all i guess we'll see you tomorrow all right well catch us tomorrow to hear the debrief 
Thank you guys all for listening to Fire Pit Chat, your daily dose of all things Love Island. I'm your host, Demi, and this is Jasmine, and we appreciate you listening. If you're watching on YouTube, feel free to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. We're also available as a podcast wherever you get your podcasts. So, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>